Well, this is the last weekend to catch some of the flicks in the Gay and Lesbian Film Festival right here in Philadelphia. It's the third largest in the country. Now, one of the films making its premiere this weekend is Two Brothers, directed by Richard Bell. And Richard Bell is here joining us all the way from Vancouver, Canada, right? Vancouver, Canada. Yeah, tell us, uh, Two Brothers, tell us, it's, you said it's, uh, there's a gay theme in there, but not necessarily what people might think. Right, I mean, ultimately, this story is about family, obviously, hence the title, Two Brothers. I wanted to create a movie where the uh, sexuality of the characters was quite incidental, and uh, because that's where, th those are the kind of uh, gay films that I think that we should be telling now, like, you know, in the 80s, it was like, oh, the coming out movies, and right. in the 90s, it was like the AIDS movies. And I think, I think now, you know, in this bold new century, there should be films that are just about people who, you know, incidentally are gay or straight or whatever. Do you think if people are sick of films just hitting them over the head? Because, I, like I said, in the 80s and early 90s, no one I knew wanted to rent any gay movies or watch any gay movies because they were depressing. They Everybody were was sad. dying of AIDS. Yeah. Yeah. So do you feel the same way about sort of hitting sexuality over the head when you do that in movies? I, I think I think a lot of my uh, my prede predecessors have done that. So I, I think there's a lot more compelling things that I can focus on. I mean, I mean, it was all baby steps, right? And right. they were, I mean, as far as filmmaking goes, I mean, they were really, you know, pioneers. I, I say pioneers, and it was only 10, 20 years ago. But I guess that's kind of like how far we've come as a community. So, uh, yeah, I'm just more interested in telling, you know, uniquely human stories. All right. Well, let's talk about two brothers now. In the film, it, the relationship between these two siblings, that's what's really important. It's not yes. necessarily important that you get out there and you wave the flag and say, I'm, you know, yeah. I'm gay and I'm, I'm proud and I'm going to do this. But the relationships you have with your family. And so there's a scene that we're going to show where I guess the two brothers are talking. Explain to me about the film and why the relationship is so important. Well, basically, the film, the film starts after the uh, death of their mother. So uh, they haven't, they, and they actually haven't seen each other in six years. The older brother has moved away to downtown Vancouver, and the younger brother is from a small town in British Columbia. So this is the first time that they've seen each other in six years. So I mean, there's a lot of issues uh, from their past that have to be dealt with about their the, the death of their father six years previous. An abusive relationship, you said. An um, abusive upbringing. An abusive, abusive upbringing, and uh, basically, I wanted I wanted to tell a story about. I think as young people, like people in our 20s, I think we're very frightened of becoming like our parents. And right. like, you know, we're paranoid, like, oh God, I don't want to do this. I don't want to be like my dad. I don't want to be like my mom. And I really think, I mean, I really think that, I think that we only find comfort and solace like in our lives when we look at our past and we say, okay, well, this was my past and right. this was the way I was raised. And I am a product of my parents, but I'm not like straight jacketed right. by that by that past. So the death of the mother, that's a catalyst for the whole that's thing. Do they learn anything from it? I think they do. I think, I mean, definitely they do. I mean, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be a good movie if, they, <laughs> if they didn't learn. I think, I think they just, I think they learned to just settle their differences and move on. But you said sexuality was never really a problem. He was out, his brother had accepted it, and yes. the family had accepted yes. it. Yes, I mean, when, when the younger brother arrives and meets his brother, his brother is actually saying, oh, why haven't you had a relationship yet? So. so everyone can learn something from this movie. It's not just if you're gay or whatever. If you know someone who's gay that you can relate to it, anyone can. Here's what, what I find interesting. $545, <laughs> how'd you do that? That's like, you know, 300 American dollars. What's yeah. up with that? Well, I, it's very funny because I used to be very embarrassed about that budget. And I wouldn't tell anybody. And then somebody said, well, that's your marketing edge. Right. So, <laughs> Uh, well, basically, I went to theater school for three years. I studied as, a, studied as an actor at a very good theater school. So when I graduated, a bunch of us really had nothing to do. It's kind of like you're, you know, out of out of the womb, and it's like, oh God, what do I do now? Uh, so I just assembled, you know, four really talented actors who had stage uh, training, and then an editor and a composer who all had their own equipment, and we just went on from there. I'm looking at this. Is it all black and white? It's all black and it's white. All black and white. We made it black and white. People say, oh, what was your decision for that? Well, we shot it in in digital video, and okay. and it's very unforgiving sometimes color so black and white kind of washed out all the mistakes all right unfortunately we've run out of time thank you richard bell Excellent. we know you have another project coming up and hopefully you'll come back and talk to us about Great. that when it comes out you can see two brothers tonight at the wilma theater at 7:30. now let's get the last check of our weather from glenn hurricane schwartz glenn.